Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this easy generator switch. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So we have some instructions here. And here's the switch itself. So first I want to say that I'm not an electrician, I'm not an expert in this field, I just mostly want to highlight this product. So if you are an electrician or a homeowner, you can take this information and do some things with it, but that doesn't mean you can't hurt yourself or kill yourself or hurt other people. You do need to follow all the safety regulations and safety things from working with electricity. So what this is, is essentially a transfer switch for a single device. So if your power goes out and you want to plug in your refrigerator, you can unplug your refrigerator from the wall, get an extension cord and plug it into a generator, that's say outside. If you have something like a gas furnace, Furnace, and a gas furnace will use some electricity to run the fans and stuff. Well, those don't typically have plugs on them, so you can install a device like this to switch from the mains power to an extension cord. So that's a use case where you have an appliance that doesn't have a cord on it, and you're essentially adding a cord using a device like this. Another potential use case for this would be if you have, say, a power panel in your garage, you could wire this in the garage to hook up to, say, the refrigerator. So you could plug this into the generator from your garage as opposed to pulling the refrigerator out from the wall and taking the cord out, things like that. So this has a switch on it. It has off, normal, and generator. So normal would be your mains power. Generator would be when you hook your generator up. So I have an extension cord here. This could be to a generator and that would plug in like so. And as I said earlier, I'm not going to cover all the safety things, but you would certainly need to use the proper sized extension cord. So this does have a 15 amp breaker on it. This is metal. Looks like this is plastic here. So let me pull this out. So there are lots of wires in here. So this comes with a four by four by two box. And this is a pretty simple device. We have a switch, we have the outlet or the reverse outlet, and we have a circuit breaker. And this does switch the neutrals. So I know some people watching this video are going to want to know that. So yes, this does switch neutrals here. So we can trace this a little bit. We have the hot coming in from the plug, goes to the circuit breaker, goes to the hot of the switch, and that would go out to this hot. So let's pull these wires out here, see what we have. Okay, these are labeled. And this is pretty simple to install. Okay, so here's a diagram on how to hook this up. And you want to hook this up properly. So your breaker panel is going to connect to the red and the neutral line side. And your load is going to connect to the neutral load side in black. So the red and the line neutral are going to connect to your power. And the black and the load neutral are going to connect to your appliance. And the ground will all be bonded together. So let's see how that goes into the switch here. So you can see the line is on the outside of the switch. The generator outlet is on the opposite side of the switch. And then the load is in the middle of the switch. So they do have instructions on changing this from a switch neutral to an unswitch neutral. So I'll just kind of go over those. You can pause if you need to read those. Let me just show the rest of the instructions here. I know this isn't perfect, but sometimes people lose the instructions and this will at least give you a fighting chance. Although I think you can download these from the manufacturer's website. So since this will detach the neutral, this will completely break away the appliance from the mains power. You don't want to have a situation where you plug a generator into your system and energizes the power lines. Because what that can do is that can feed back into the transformer at the pole and it can make the power lines hot while the power crews are trying to work on them. So you do want to make sure this gets installed properly. So before you install, you do want to make sure you read all of these instructions and you understand them completely because it talks about generators with floating neutrals and things like that. And I'm not an expert on that stuff. This can also be used with solar inverters or backup batteries or things like that and that will most likely be the case where I use this although maybe I'll get a generator too so I can plug a generator in and run my furnace so I'm going to have this installed and then I'll show a clip of this installed in place okay the switch is installed on the ceiling here so the wires in this junction box go into here and they feed back out so this is essentially placed in line with the main that's feeding the furnace so I have an extension cord plugged in here and we're currently on normal mode I'll switch that to the middle position, which is off. So we just shut off the furnace. I have that plugged into an outlet over here. So this meter's upside down. Actually, I'll just flip the video upside down so you can read it. So now I'm going to switch this over to generator. So remember, this is switching the hot and the neutral. So now it's on generator, which is coming from a different outlet in house. And here's the power meter. We're drawing 17.8 watts. So I'm actually going to wait for this to kick on and we'll see what the furnace takes while it's running. 
Okay, so the furnace wasn't calling for heat, so I kicked it on and we're at about 66 watts of power. So that's the easy generator switch. This is a simple solution to be able to plug a generator into a wired appliance without getting a large complicated transfer switch. And as I said earlier, you can mount this at the appliance or you can mount it next to your service panel, whatever's most convenient. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.